Hi, I'm Meg Bellamy and this is how I became Kate Middleton in The Crown. So I play Kate Middleton and we first meet her when she's just finished her A-levels and she's about to go to university. The story follows her going to university, meeting Prince William and seeing how their relationship develops over time. When I found out I got the role, I was in costume actually at Legoland Windsor and I could feel my phone ringing and I knew that it was casting director. Anyway, I got a voicemail from her and it said like, no rush, but you know, just give me a call. And I ran to the like delivery parking lot bit of Legoland, very unglamorous. And I was like sat on the curb trying to hear this phone call from her. Um, whilst there's like delivery vans beeping and reversing uh, as she told me that I was playing Kate Wilson. So it was very glam. And then I had to go back into Legoland and I think I had a, a woman being like, why skip the queue won't work? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> My most useful outfit I wore in terms of becoming Kate, getting into character was probably a lot of the more basic outfits, so the kind of vest, low-rise jeans, long boots, because it felt very of the time. And it's also something I really don't wear ever. Like I wear high-rise baggy jeans. Uh, so it really does change how you stand and your posture wearing low-rise, especially after lunch. Uh, and the era that I play her, Kate Middleton Styles, very cool girl, very um, almost more country elements, you know, wedged in there. And but it's now it's, I guess, more elevated and chicer and more elegant so the fashion show outfit was really exciting to wear not just because it's kind of this iconic outfit in the royal history i guess but also just because it was very different to the other stuff i wear in the show it's this kind of celebration of her confidence and i was very excited to wear it and a little nervous but on the day it's just so exciting and the director made everyone so comfortable and the energy was so high, people are cheering and there's music blasting. So it was, it was a really great day and I didn't feel uncomfortable in any way. Kate Middleton's voice is quite different to mine. I think we're from a very similar area. We both grew up in Berkshire. I don't know even how you describe my voice. I guess I speak more from here and I'm a bit more like, Arr. but she's much more light and airy. Um, so just kind of raising that a bit, pitching it younger. I became a real nerd about the voice. I find it so fascinating. It's almost like learning a different language, but we did a lot of like vowels that are different. So I say like, oh, oh, and she is much more oh, oh. So it's that kind of different sound, I guess, practicing that so that it becomes second nature and you don't have to think, you know, when I'm seeing oh. There wasn't a huge amount that surprised me about Kate because I think that's what people love about her in the sense that what you see is what you get. This, I think, was on the casting brief, this one here. And I just love this picture of her. I think she looks very sun-kissed and lovely and that just feels like Kate for me in a photo. There were some more specific ones, like this picture of her is like, it's really bad quality, but you can see her smile that isn't as kind of um, posed, I guess. It's much more kind of shy and it makes me think that's what it would have been like, you know, when cameras aren't on her, which is anything I could get like that was super helpful. Um, I also just lo love this photo because it's fun. She's like, mm. Elizabeth Vicky, who plays Princess Diana, she's been a real mentor and kind of safe space for me. I know that I can pick up the phone to her if I ever need anything. She's been really amazing in this process and good friend. <laughs> Instinctively, I thought, well, she stands up straight and she you know, walks with confidence and slouches and things like that, but you have to kind of remove those layers because I imagine they are added because you're in the public eye all the time, being rewarded all the time. So I would try and pick up things from her, from watching her that seemed habitual. So she kind of, you know, when she's walking and stuff, well, might hold here. So I, I thought maybe that could be something that she's always had and you know, not feeling like you have to be really perfect all the time. You know, she'd be more relaxed around friends, so just de her, I guess. There was a swimming scene within the show and we were lucky enough that the production gave us some proper professional swimming coaching to get our technique really great. But the actual day, it was, it was pretty intense just because the way it's filmed is that 
Kate beats William uh, in this race and she's, you know, much faster than him. And William's like, oh, wow, that's so impressive. Um, but naturally, when Ed and I had practiced, he's, he's faster than me, I'm ashamed to say. So I really had to work at it. Um, and I was like, Ed, can you slow it down? Let me win. Because I always had to do an extra length. So it was a lot and I didn't have the best breakfast. So um, I wasn't very well. Kate Reverson was born in Berkshire. She studied history of art at university. Oh, jigsaw. They met at, well, they both went to St. Salvador's. That's where they, um, that's the accommodation they were in. But they met at, at university, right? They both studied history of art. Uh, Alexander McQueen, 